Don't open my door! What are you doing? No. Come on. Thank you, Pam. No. Get out. Nice to meet you. I'm holding a... Let go, go. Stop! Stop, 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 stop! Get on the ground, get on the ground! Actually, my dad's... I don't care, get on the ground! Today, we'll delve into the process by which suspects turn a routine traffic stop into a serious offense. And here are some notable faces in today's video. So here's the problem, alright? I don't care! Don't open my door! What are you doing? Okay, don't touch me, bye! To kick off today's theme, we're diving into the story of a girl at the pinnacle of her skill level. Nikita, a fierce girl has turned a simple ticket into a serious offense. Now let's delve into her escalation process. At approximately 1 a.m. on July 24th, an officer found a vehicle parked in a designated no-parking zone in Champaign, Illinois. After parking their vehicle to investigate, they found the owner of the parked vehicle in the act of entering it. As the officer approached the woman, she quickly assumed a defensive stance and became confrontational in response to the officer's inquiries. My red I, lights are on. You are stopped. Put your car in park. I'm not stopped. My, I was in the store. So Put you your car in park. No, Put your car in park, no, please, before you roll you are, away. You are. Put the car in park. Put the car in park. Now, put the car in park before you roll away. No, here, you're doing too much. Just get the no, license. I'm not. Like, yes, you are. Just what park. the problem is? All right, now you're parking no I parking zone. I'm not parked. Right? It has a license. So Let me get my insurance so you can leave me alone. I'm I telling you what's going to happen. I don't care what's going on. Just give me what you got to do and leave me alone. Okay. I don't care. 164 I don't care. I'm not doing it, so it don't matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stay in your car. The officer returned to their vehicle to issue a citation to the suspect, but upon their return, the woman had closed the window and only extended one hand outside. Her disrespectful and uncooperative attitude escalated the situation further. She resisted the police and engaged in other foolish actions. Don't open my door! What are you doing? Get the f I don't have to do nothing! What are you doing? I'm Yes, I can. But I'll be done. 276, my sure. Car is being towed. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Move out my way. Don't touch, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you. See my car move. I am telling you. you are not okay, moving. don't touch me. Bye. Do not crawl in that front don't seat. Don't touch me. Do not don't crawl touch in that me. Front seat while we're I can ask for the call somebody. Oops. Yep. Let me call the people in the store to record y'all because y'all harassing me. It's already yep. been recorded. Do not crawl into that front don't seat. Touch don't touch me. I'm not doing it. Don't touch me. I'm not doing nothing. Stop touching me. Stop. You re Oh, you pull my hair out. Oh. Yep. You're the one resisting. Ah! Move! I need to go! Yo, you didn't leave me. Stop touching me! Right, I got a ticket! Y'all already got a parking ticket, and what then the you, fuck? And then you I have to grab car, my food! And then you I am sitting here! Car. Stop touching me! No, you're not allowed to be in your car because you can't yes, drive I away. Yes, I am! You cannot drive away. I've asked you to step they out of the car. They got hands on me! Help me! I've asked you Stop to step out of the car multiple times. I'm not doing that. Stop multiple touching me. Yes. Why are you handling me? But you call. left undetended after being written a ticket for call. parking. Me, I'm not doing I can call whoever the fuck I want. It's my fault. No one Let me him. go. Let me go. I can call whoever I want. Stop pushing me. Oh, they handling me. No. It's hot as hell. Get well, off me. Well, you you should have it's my car up. emotional. Is it on? No. So let me go. I'm not. No, I'm not. You are no, I'm not. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I've been sitting in my car yesterday. No. Look, I'm not doing this. The car moved. Y'all, it's no. touching me for what? Yeah, your car Let is me go. Y'all help me. They're arresting me for no reason. Y'all, it's no. touching me for what? Yeah, your car Let is me go. Y'all help me. They're arresting me for no reason. Dude, I got back in my car. Now they mad. They handling me wrong. Oh, because I got back in the car. And they snatched my wig off. That said, I'm getting my car away. I got back in the car, but I didn't do nothing. The phrase, I didn't do anything, is often a favorite among criminals. And surely, her outcome will be similar to theirs. No, they just said that when you pulled up. Yeah, no, but I didn't, yes, you did. I didn't say anything, sir. Boy, for what? Because I'm standing in the car? Because you're not. Shut the up. Step out. I didn't even do that. She's going well. 
On the ground. Let me on get my shoes. Let me Face get my shoes. Come on. Let on me the ground. Get my shoes. I need my shoes. I need my shoes. Put your back. Hands behind your stomach. Quit. Quit. And stop. Leave my phone alone. I'm not gonna leave yes, your phone. Put this phone behind your back. Don't touch my phone. Then. No, don't scratch me. That's not gonna end well for you. Shut up! I'm not doing nothing to you. Stand up. Hey, y'all, give me a second there. Wait. No. Can I get my motherfucker leg? I don't need you to help me. I can get the up. Bring her up. The is up. Stand up. My shoes. Stand. She can go to mine. Damn! I'm trying to help you out, man. I, I got get my foot underneath me. Damn! Oh, I don't need your help to get up. For real, for real. After being handcuffed, the suspect was body searched by a female officer before getting into the car and being transported to jail. Can you take her real quick? You'll watch. Yeah, I'm going somewhere. Yes, please. Can you, officer? Can you please just let me go, please? I did not kick you though. That's the thing. Can you please? Can you please just let it go? Can you just give me a ticket like you just did? It's too late to ask for a ticket now, Nikita. You should have thought about the consequences before you carried out your foolish actions. Now, take responsibility for those actions and stop begging for mercy. Mosby, can you sit up, please? You stop here. I'll check on you. UIPD, female AWOL. Miss Mosby, can you sit up? Are you okay? Yes, we're here. Yes, we're here. Okay, I was making sure you're okay. You weren't answering me. Stupid ass. Oh, like, bitch, you should have damn pulled. Dumb Mosby. Mosby Nikita has been charged with felony aggravated battery to an officer, misdemeanor resisting slash obstructing an officer, and fined for improper parking in a no parking zone. You can easily see that if this woman had been polite and accepted the ticket from the beginning, the situation wouldn't have escalated to this extent. Her arrogant and aggressive nature seems to have been ingrained from childhood until now, and that won't change with just a few days in jail. She should undergo a course on how to treat others kindly, especially law enforcement officers, and learn to respect the law. Do you think this is necessary for this woman? Leave your comments below the video to discuss your opinion with everyone. Hold on the window. I'm gonna open the car up here, you understand that? Guess what? No. You can't you... put your hands on me. As, I have done I nothing wrong. As... Similar to the first woman, the character in this situation is also an unpleasant woman. Santio, a woman who uses her own actions to push her penalties to the highest extent possible. Let's go back to the beginning to follow this whole process. On Monday, January 30th, Law enforcement responded to a welfare check at a row of houses along West Ogden Avenue in Westmont, Illinois. Their attention was drawn to a car parked in the lot with a flat tire, its lone female occupant seeming disoriented. She refused to comply with the request to exit the vehicle and disregarded the officer's commands. Given the suspect's vague demeanor, the officer suspected she was driving under the influence of alcohol. You know what? What, have you taken something that, that would be concerning? I just have a slot. What can I do for you? Um, let me sit here for a few minutes and then I'll go get a tire and I don't know. You feel okay? No, I'm so what, tired. Let me with this tire. What, what time did it happen? It was three, like 11, and oh, a police officer got me a tow truck. I mean, I... A police officer got you a tow truck? Yes. And towed you over here? Yes. Right over there. Like on Abram? Well, Adam's down that way. Okay. I, this is not an area I know. Can I please just sit? Yeah. I'm just sitting. You're fine sitting. Okay. Right, I'm going to see if I can help you out. I don't... I just want to sit. we got to figure out what... what so what can I do for you? I just need to sleep. Okay. I have been up all night. Just hang on here for a couple minutes. I'm going to go figure out what's going on. Any alcohol in the cup? No. Honestly. Yes. I see the cup? No. no alcohol at all? No. You have any alcohol in the car? No. No alcohol in your bag? Nothing like that? No. It doesn't matter. Obviously, you can still drive the car, right? No, I can't. When you first came up, that my keys were in It doesn't there. matter if the keys are in there. You're still in actual physical control of the motor vehicle. That my keys are in there. What time did you get here last night? I don't know, it was late. I'm just gonna sit there. Okay, just give a second. I see your eyes really quick? No. Come here, look at me. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, come on. Open up. Open up. Oh, Open, roll the, roll the window down. 
Do you want to get yourself arrested? Okay, then do. Roll the window down. Come on. And step out of the car. Come on. Come on. She's, she's kind of, she's kind of, uh, I don't know, her having some episode going on. Okay. Uh, and I talked to the husband. She said she's probably got a great cup in the in the in the center dash with some type of, uh, with some type of pop in it. And tell if it's alcohol in there or not. But um, but now she's refusing to roll down the window and talk to me all. But the, she got a flat tire. Apparently she was towed over here last night. But um, okay. right. husband's on his way over here. But um, he's, he's 20 minutes away in Woodridge. I don't know if he wants to do it. I'll see if maybe the husband, wait till the husband gets here and see if he can get her to open the door. Yeah. yeah. Apparently somebody told I'll her here. Them, uh, she said a, 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 an officer called a tow for her and told her here. She's some kind of thing, but she's, she's really not. She didn't, wasn't yeah, supposed to come much information for me. She didn't really want to talk to me. But she, she wants a tire, is what she originally came here for, to get a tire yeah. fixed. I don't think so. No, no, she won't. She's rolled the window up and talk to me. Door to the lock. Let's see if I can talk to her okay. again. Yep. Come on, roll down the window. Roll down the window. I'll point the stand out here. I'm gonna, I'll call, I'll see what, what he wants to do. I'll, I'll call Blue Pitt and this time. If you don't have enough to arrest her, well, obviously you can't take her in custody. The only thing is, do they want her here? And obviously she can't drive on the flat tire. If you hear something, you can open the car up for us and. Yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of if you don't have enough to arrest her at this point. With no response from the female driver, the officer conferred with his colleague before contacting headquarters to relay the situation. He informed them that the suspect's husband was on his way and hoped he would bring tools to unlock her vehicle. Was ever on the roadway intoxicated? Would you be charged with a private property DUI? They called us, yeah, originally. I think, I think well, they called the husband, I think, and then, then he called us. Hey, Sarge. We are here on this check on well-being thing. I don't smell any alcohol, but she's definitely acting a little out of it. He said, oh, she's probably got vodka in, in the in her cup in the car. I did smell it. I, again, I couldn't smell it. Down her window, she locked her doors and was just sitting in the car, refusing to speak to me or roll down her window and talk to me. If she's okay or I figure out what's going to happen with her here, she doesn't want to come out or doesn't want to talk to us at all. Does that make her more I'm not, I'm not comfortable enough to let her just sit here and then maybe drive away. But I think they're concerned about her well-being. And that they don't, yeah, that, yeah, that. I sent you the call from last night. Well, was there one last night? I was looking yeah, for it. I told it. Who told it over here? I don't think it was told. It's a check on well-being here. Apparently he called about his wife yesterday. Yeah. So she's been here since, I mean, it's possible, but I, she's been here since 11, so I'm not, I'm not paying. So hook her up for DUI. The assisting officer attempted to approach the situation delicately, trying to persuade the woman to roll down her window and talk, but it seemed she was unresponsive to civility, requiring a firmer approach. At that moment, another officer stepped in, issuing a final warning before he proceeded to break the lock to open the vehicle. Now she won't come out or talk to you having some type of episode, but he's got, he doesn't have a key or anything like that. Yeah. No. Come on. I understand, but they, you can't just sit in their parking lot. We're concerned about you. I didn't see. Yeah, well, you you can't just sit in their parking lot. We're concerned about your well-being, okay, ma'am? Will you, will you talk to your husband? I didn't see you were doing anything illegal, but you can't just sit in their parking lot. We're concerned about your well-being. Do you have no clothes shoes or anything like that? Uh, no, I mean, I didn't ask him, but... Do you want him to come over here at all and try to talk to her? You got a flat tire and that's what she came in? Yeah, that's what she came in here. Ma'am, I'm going to open the car up, okay? I am. I'm going to use my tools and get in. I'm going to open the car up. He's giving us permission to open the car up, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open the car up. Or do you want to open, do you want to get open the car up or not? Then I'll open it up. So probably Tom is probably freaking try to hold it, hold it closed. But... Okay, now we're here. The officers engaged in a lengthy conversation with the female suspect, enduring her nonsensical ramblings. Does she even realize her words are revealing her drunken state? It's absurd when she tells the cops to buzz off. What's going on? 
want to be left alone. That warrants you guys being here. I didn't do anything. We're concerned for your well-being, okay? I don't okay? go away. I'm not doing anything. I these are in the glove box. I'm sitting here. I am not doing anything. I want to be left alone. There is nothing illegal I'm doing. You have no reason to be in my car. His car, his name is on this car, but I just, I just want to be left alone. I am not doing anything illegal. How much have you had to drink? Nothing. I just haven't slept. I want you to go away. You are, you are in physical, you were in physical control of a motor vehicle, though. No. Yes, you were. No. You are in actual physical control of the vehicle, so you can't be in, you can't be intoxicated okay. with behind the wheel. Whatever. I'm not behind the wheel. Okay, but with your call is a physical control of the vehicle, which means you have access to the keys and the vehicle to be able to drive it. Whatever. I am not in operation. I am sitting in the f***ing back seat. You were in the front seat when I got here, right? You can't stay in the vehicle when you service it. Uh, so no, you're have to I left. Like, I had to walk out. Because it, as soon as I step out, you get control of me. Nope, sitting right here. I am doing nothing. Oh good, my Aldi purchases. You can hear it? I'm just sitting here in the back seat. My keys are in the glove box. Shut my doors, please. I so, no. so, so here's the deal. Yeah, okay. No, shut my doors. So, so I'm, Go I'm telling you, away. Here's you to come out the vehicle first, please. Nope, not doing it. I haven't done it. Then what are, no, what are the causes? I am not. My keys are up there. My car is off. I'm sitting in the back seat. And if you refuse, you will be arrested for the. I have done nothing wrong. Because I'm asking the police to step in the vehicle. Yeah. You understand that you will be arrested. I haven't done anything. Okay, I understand that that's what you're saying. You have been drinking. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and as I explained to you, that's mm -hmm. irrelevant. Okay. You're still what's considered to be called in the. In Control the motor right. Sitting in the, I'm just stating to wherever your f***ing body can be. My keys are in the glove box up there. I have done nothing. So there you go. I'm not going anywhere. The woman persistently denies, I didn't do anything illegal, before calling her lawyer. This is precisely the process most criminals follow before getting caught. Only then do they regret their shameful words and actions. What I need you to do is I, exit the vehicle. No, you can't you, put your hands on me. I as, have as done I stick, nothing wrong. No, I'm actually going to call a lawyer right now. And he'll, he'll tell you that you need to obey us. We're giving you a lawful order, okay? We're investigating a... You guys can spin it any way you want. But you have... I have done nothing. I have done nothing. What, what if we just got the car and just drove it? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. got to put a tire right? He said he doesn't know if he saw a sign over on the place the door. Do you want to get looked at by the medics? No. I want you all to go away. I'm worrying up, so go the f away. Okay, well, that's not how it works. I'm get the f out. And we're still investigating a, a possible DUI, and we're asking you to get I'm out of the car, and that's a lawful it. order. We're trying to work with you uh, here. Guess what? Love you. Go away. We need you to would have. The vehicle. Nope. Okay, we're, nope. we're, unfortunately we're going to have to physically remove the vehicle. Nope, you we can't. don't want to do that. Nope. We're not exiting the vehicle. Hey, if you had something on me, it would have happened. Though. We don't have no. to physically remove you. We no. don't want to do that. I'm yes. saying you are, no. but you're disobeying Guess what? the lawful no. order. I'm, and as a result of that, no, you're going to be No, I am arrested. allowed to stand my point. My keys are in the glove box. You have no reason to be here. No, because we're trying to get no. you to comply. No. We don't want to physically remove the vehicle. You have no reason to remove me. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to physically remove the vehicle. Please do not. You want to get another the other side? Yeah. Nope. No. Thank you, ma'am. Nope. No. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yep. Yeah. Holding a car. I haven't done anything illegal. You understand you're being placed under arrest, correct? I do. Wow. Relax. Okay. okay, we will grab that for you. Is there anything else you'd like out of the vehicle? No, not really, no. Okay. Okay. What is that? Come on. Do you need anything? People will lock the handcuffs so they won't get tighter. Anything in your pockets? No. no. Okay. I'm sorry, it looks like it. Mm. I don't know. Chapstick? I don't know. I didn't do anything on the
like I said, we were asked you to get out of the car multiple yeah, times. Guess you went what? To I, possible DUI, you understand that? I wasn't driving the vehicle. You were in actual, actual physical control of the motor vehicle. Saito is charged with driving under the influence, resisting law enforcement, and unlawfully possessing alcohol while driving. Each suspect, upon arrest, has a significant amount of time to deny their wrongdoing and delude themselves into believing that the police officers are at fault. It's truly a crazy and foolish thought. Stop! Sheriff's office, stop! Emma, I did not speak. So you were. I never go out. In this case, we'll witness the dreadful idea of a young girl. Brianna, the one who made her worst decision ever. Now, let's dive deep into her story. On January 2nd, during a routine traffic stop, the officer spotted a speeding car in the oncoming lane. Without hesitation, he left a note for the halted vehicle and swiftly returned to his patrol car, bracing himself for an adrenaline-pumping pursuit. God damn it. I'm stuck at the entrance. He's uh, still driving fast. Sheriff's office, stop! Stop! I already got you on camera! Running out of the house. Stop, 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 stop! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Actually, my dad's house. I don't care. Get on the ground. No dad's house. No dad's house. Please. But get you. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Don't move. Okay. What do I do? my dad's house. What's your address here? It's, uh, I don't, I don't know the address. And we're at the very first okay. house as you come into the intersection, straight ahead, uh, first house to the left. Your choice to run has dashed the bright future awaiting you, young lady. You ruined your own life. I didn't. You should have just stopped. I could have given you a warning. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you're going 100 miles an hour. I wasn't on my pants. I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to. Look, I so you could have just stopped I and that could have been it. I want to. I want to ice with you, please. Oh, you didn't. Please listen to me, say to Upon being apprehended, the young woman resorted to a barrage of excuses to rationalize her reckless actions. Among them, the most ludicrous lie she could muster was, I wasn't speeding. This absurd falsehood likely served as her self-soothing mantra, boosting her confidence in the face of consequences. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, there's nothing Please I can don't. do for you. I'm sorry, but unfortunately, if you would have stopped for speed. You tell me. You didn't yeah, you didn't stop. No, you didn't. I did not speed. I promise you. All right. Can you please show me? Naples, for Charlie 11, you can tell me so much. Please, time. tell my father, please. Yeah, I will. Okay. One, four, four, five. Please. All right. What's that? I didn't. I did not do this. You didn't? I didn't. Okay, I saw you on camera. Sir, I did not speed. Do you have anything in your pockets? I don't. No. no. What's your first name? I'm sorry. Hey, Brianna. Honestly speaking, yes, if you would please. have just stopped. Yes, yes, and okay. I would have I would have stopped. Have you sir. been drinking tonight? No. The suspect changed her story immediately after the officer mentioned detecting the unmistakable scent of alcohol on her breath. It appears this isn't the first time she's resorted to such falsehoods. According to her testimony, she's currently on probation for various offenses. I Cosmos. Cosmo? Okay. I'm on probation. Please, what are you on probation for? What are you on probation for? <laughs> Alright, stop moving your wrist because it's going to make it worse, okay? <laughs> Alright, do you have anything in your pockets? No, I don't Kevin? have any pockets. I don't have anything. Hold on, let me just check underneath your jacket. Anything stuffed in your bra or anything like that? Is she close by or no? I don't have anything. She's in the city? I sure you did. did no, you did not, sir, because I got into it's the all gate. on camera. Look, right there. All right. There's no security guard there. Yes, I know. Take off your shoes, please. What's exactly, which is exactly okay. me into this community if you would have been following me like that. All right. I'm on the and I don't want to leave. Please come over this way. Can I have you take a seat in here, okay? All right, have a seat. Watch your head. Just stand by, okay? Thanks, guys. While sitting in the back of the police car, she cried profusely and continuously attempted to shift all blame onto the police. <laughs> I think you 
ruined me forever. Before, my, before this gate, you did not stop me, and you know it. That's you not see my fair. Life? That's not fair, and you know it. Please, don't violate my purse. I never do anything wrong, and it's not fair that I'm always the one that gets never drink. I never do anything wrong. <laughs> and I always get in trouble. Please, I like to Please, don't bother my dad. Meanwhile, the remaining officer at the scene went to the suspect's father's house to inform him of the arrest and update him on her situation. The officer seemed quite shocked to learn the suspect's age. She was old enough to make such foolish mistakes. Hello, sir. Uh, good morning. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Corporal Luna with the Sheriff's Office. Brianna, is she here? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, sir. And what relation do you have to her? My daughter. Okay, daughter. Okay. Okay, she's completely fine. Uh, as far as health goes, um, she is being placed under arrest for flea and elude. She's possibly been drinking. She turned in here. I tried to, then hit my, my uh, patrol vehicle and she came flying through. She parked here next to the clubhouse and she tried to run and uh, I was able to catch her. She seems like a nice girl, but she's yeah. making bad decisions tonight. A step on all these things, I believe that there's good people out there, good choices. Yeah. I like to talk to folks, right? There's only so much I could do where I have discretion, right? Once yeah. a felony is committed and, and things like that, there's nothing I could do. That's her. It's got her whole life ahead of her, right? A lot but of she's, good things. But yeah, but she's making bad decisions, and this would be what, her third time now getting arrested. I, I just wanted to make contact with you and and verify that. Does she live here, or does she just yeah, stay here? Yeah, situation and everything okay. that she's on right now. Okay. You know, and I can't tell you how many times we, we remind and, and keep pounding things in. Like, yeah. You know, it, it's like in one ear, out the other. Yes, sir. I feel like you're making a little progress and making some ground. Mm -hmm. I can't place my finger on, on on why. It's like, man, you keep getting opportunities. Yes. I don't think it's fair. Um, yeah. Thankfully, she is physically okay. Right. She, if you would have stopped, I could have wrote you a warning or a max a ticket for yeah. speed and that's it. She's very young. Yeah. How old is she? 28. 20. 20. Well, she's not that young then, right? Yeah. This, this is uh, this is not a joke out here. Hey, Brianna, quick question. Okay, yeah, another quick question. Is there anything really important that you want to give over to Dad that's in your car? No. Your jacket? No, my... Oh, uh, they'll be fine. They're, you're going to change into a uniform once you get down to the jail, okay? For flea and elude. Flea and elude? Yes, ma'am. Let me grab the, the uh, seatbelt from the other side. Just move your back yeah, against this. <laughs> Look face forward. Listen. Wait, yeah, there one. you go. Just just keep your back against the seat so I can put the seat on you. There you go. I didn't plead on No villain ever sees themselves as the villain, Brianna. Most of them exhibit signs of seeing faults in others, but not in themselves, and she's falling into that trap. Questioning the police with, why didn't you stop me, is evidence enough that she's not thinking clearly. I wonder how she'll feel when she watches the footage of her arrest with a clear mind. It's definitely something to look forward to. Or that's, that's it. You're right, everything is on video and Joe Viacaba will look into it. But like, I'm just letting you know, like that's not fair. I would have never fled and evaded into a neighborhood where I had already lived. Cause I'm not a bad person where I wouldn't have stopped for you. So how did I speed into a neighborhood? No, you tell me. You're the cop. I have been arrested many times. <laughs> you can see my record. I'm not a bad person and you're still going after me. For what? I didn't evade you. You know I didn't evade you. On this road that we're on right now, which you would have stopped me on? No, inside of Indigo Lakes. That's where you stopped me inside of Indigo Lakes. Because I never, I would have stopped for you. Is that normally how you drive inside Indigo Lakes? No, absolutely, because I was not, I'm not saying that I was driving. Okay. You answered five times, but I'll answer it again. So you're being placed under arrest for fleeing and looting. Yeah, fleeing and looting where? 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 No, I'm asking, not not asking where I drove inside of. I'm asking where you stopped. I've also told you this. No, you haven't. Okay. All you said was that I was driving 70 miles per hour. She was charged with a felony for eluding police and a misdemeanor for resisting arrest. Is the 48-month probation sentence and compliance with special requirements fitting for her criminal record? 
Do you anticipate any positive changes from her once the penalty concludes? Leave a comment below in the comment section to keep track of the updates we provide. A traffic stop into a serious offense has various underlying reasons, but the primary cause is often foolish decision-making leading to poor choices. Some individuals also fall into this trap due to their elevated positions, leading them to disregard the law and demand special treatment. We hope that this video delivers valuable messages to you, and we encourage you to draw insightful lessons to apply to yourself. Remember, when dealing with law enforcement officers, kindness, composure, and a respectful attitude toward others can make resolving any issue much easier. Thank you for taking the time to watch the entire video. Goodbye, and may you have a great day ahead.